Sometimes we want to move an action center, and they're called action centers, specifically called action centers. So when I press W, you'll see that the action center is in the very middle of the block. And actually, we work quite hard to maintain it in the middle. Remember when we did replicators, we always go to edit and center selected, center to bounding box. Like we go through this a lot, right? Every time we do that, we go zero, all, oh, okay, then we've got this thing, it's perfectly in the middle. But when we do a rotation, like I want to rotate the box, for example, it just can rotate from the middle. And while for the most part we can achieve everything we want that way, sometimes it's just not what we want. We don't want to rotate from the middle, we want to rotate from a corner or an edge. So, I've covered snapping before, but I'm going to show you quickly again. The snapping tool is up here between symmetry and select through, okay? The shortcut for the snapping tool is X on your keyboard, X to select snapping. If you hold Alt on your keyboard and you click on it, it will give you the options. We want vertex selected and we probably want like edge center selected. And I'll tell you why. Vertexes are the, all the corners, edge centers are the middle of the lines, okay? And if you want to snap against an edge, select edge. But in general, this is the way the snapping is going to be set up. You can change, you can vary it any way you like. The other thing we're looking at here, and that's what this funny rotational tool is in the center. Yes, it's an action tool, but it is also what we call an action center. Okay, so it's the middle of. Pay attention to this. It is the middle of where a tool is is used from. Okay, so right now you know that we can rotate and we can probably snap to other vertexes and do kind of weird stuff but it doesn't really make any difference. It's still rotating from the middle. What we want to do is we want to be able to move the action center. But without snapping turned on, our movement of the action center is very loose and very hard to control. So we turn snapping on and we go to action center and we turn automatic on, okay? Then you see, the little, you see that little cross in the middle of my screen? You see that thing where my mouse is hovering over it? When I get my mouse on top of it, it turns orange. It also will tell me, drag this to move it. Okay, so watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to click and drag, and it's going to snap to the things that I have turned on on my snapping. So, snap to center of line, snap to edge, snap to center of line, snap to vertex, right? From here, I can rotate around that point. Make sense, Mo? All right, so let me do it one more time. I'm going to do it for the second one. I'm going to grab this one, pick up the move tool, okay? Move tool's in the dead center. I want it to be in the top right corner. How do I move it? Turn on snapping. Make sure in my snapping I have the things I want selected, right? Here's another one. I want polygon center. I don't want edge center. I want polygon center. So what do I want? I want it to snap to the middle of a face, okay? Which is a great place to snap to if you need to do something. Turn on... Uh, action center, automatic, grab the orange marker in the middle, hey, grab the orange marker in the middle, hey, uh. grab the orange marker, snap it to a corner, you'll see that it snaps to the middle of the face, do you see that? Middle of face, middle of face, yeah, W. So, um, one other way to do it is, um, well, no, I think there is, I think it's a good question. The other way is kind of work at it and just make the subdivided surfaces unequally, like five and five, and then find the center cross. You know what I'm saying? And then use vertex snapping. But snapping and action centers are the way to do it. Okay. So, snapping plus action center means we can always move or rotate something. One to there, one to the middle. It just depends what you like. Okay. Any other simple motor questions I can cover that might make your life a little bit easier?